Hey everyone, I'm Andrea with Doctors of Running, and today I'm going to compare two of Topo's performance trainers, the Topo Spectre and the soon-to-be-released Cyclone 2. So just to run down the specs really quick, both shoes have a 5mm drop. The Spectre has a stack height of 35mm in the rear foot and 30 in the forefoot. We don't have exact specs for the Cyclone, but it looks at least 5 millimeters less in the heel and the forefoot as compared to the Spectre. So I would guess it's like low 30s in the heel and mid 20s in the forefoot. Uh, midsole differences, the Spectre has an EVA rim with a PBAX core, whereas the Cyclone 2 is really exciting. It's um, Tapo's first fully PBAX midsole shoe. And that difference in the midsole definitely lends to some different uh, performance characteristics that I'll talk about shortly. The weight of the shoes, the Spectre comes in at 8.1 ounces. The Cyclone 2 is definitely lighter than that. Again, we don't have full specs, but comparing it to other shoes with known weights, I think it's in the low 7s. So the differences in the performance between the two shoes really come down to the geometry and the midsole, as it often does in shoes. So when you look at the geometry of the Spectre, you can see it's pretty heavily rockered, particularly in the forefoot. Got a pretty significant posterior sole flare in the Spectre. And there's just pretty significant sole flare throughout the length of the shoe. Got a wide base. You can see there's pretty decent rubber coverage on the Spectre. I've got about 100 miles on my pair, and I really haven't worn away any of the rubber. You can see some wear on the exposed midsole, but this shoe is still in really good shape. I would expect a lot more miles out of it. Comparing the to the Cyclone 2, the Cyclone 2 also has rocker geometry. The heel bevel in the Cyclone 2 feels a little more aggressive, even though it doesn't have as much posterior flair. And then the forefoot rocker of the Cyclone 2 is more flexible, and it feels like there's a little more toe spring in the Cyclone 2, but the forefoot of the Cyclone is also a lot more flexible than the Spectre. So that actually makes the forefoot of Cyclone 2 feel a little more natural than the Spectre, simply because you can kind of push through the forefoot of the Cyclone, whereas the Spectre, there's absolutely no bending here at all. Um, the cushion, the difference in the midsole between the Spectre and the Cyclone 2 also make very different rides. The Spectre with, it's mostly EVA frame. It's just got that PBAX core in the center. The Spectre feels firmer. It's not quite as responsive. It's definitely a rolling shoe. Um, I really liked it mostly for marathon pace intervals. At faster paces, it just felt a little bit sluggish because of how stiff the forefoot is. And also the higher stack without being made of a material like PBAX, you just don't get that same responsive feeling from the Spectre that you do in the Cyclone 2, even though it's got a lower stack, that full PBAX midsole is more responsive than the Spectre. In terms of speed, I really found the Cyclone 2 to be great at every pace. I could use it on easy runs, and I could use it for mile pace intervals without any issues. I think the features that lend itself to that one, the PBAX makes the shoe a little more responsive. You definitely feel yourself load it, and then it responds. And the more flexible forefoot makes it perform a little better at faster paces than the Spectre. So I've, I've used the Cyclone 2 for long marathon tempos. I've used it for two-mile pace intervals, for strides at mile pace or faster. And it really does great at all of those speeds. Um, so Tapo has really made a really versatile shoe in the Cyclone 2. Whereas the Spectre, more of a marathon pace shoe. It's just got that nice rolling feel. I have used it on long, easy runs, but it's not really my first choice because of how firm it is. But it can definitely do 
long runs if um, you like a firmer shoe. So uh, thanks for listening to my review, Topo Spectre, soon to be released Cyclone 2. Check it out soon. See you guys next time.